I bought an Alfa Romeo right over there. I bought another Alfa Romeo. What the heck is this, man? Jeez. Oh, look at that. That's a big focus there. Oh, my God. What is this, man? Come on. You were working fine last week. <laughs> ah. Good morning, everybody. We're at Chin Sui Temple. And yes, the 155 made it up to the top. You know, I never thought I'll enjoy this car this much. But I actually am. <laughs> I'm just pushing it through corners. Nice! <laughs> Thing is the alternator. If it is, then it should be a quick fix. Hey guys, as you can see, I absolutely love driving. So the things that I choose to install my car really, really matters, and I choose them with a lot of care. In the case of window tints, I'm using Expel's Prime XR Plus range, and the reason I'm choosing these tints is for two reasons. Number one is the absolute clarity it provides. Now, I've used other things before. I noticed that there's a little bit of warping, sometimes a bit of weird refraction on the car, and the worst case, they're even blurring off the image. Now, with XR Plus range, I don't see any of that, and it's absolutely clear as though there is no window tints on the car. Now, the second reason why I love these things is its protection. Now, we're driving outside there, we're always exposing ourselves to UV rays, which are linked to skin disease, uh, premature skin aging, and even skin cancer. Now, with the Prime XR Plus range, it provides up to a thousand plus SPF protection and also up to 99% of UVA and UVB blocking. So what does it mean? It means that when I'm driving, I know that I'm always protected and my loved ones in my cars are always protected. And that's the motto of Expel, protect everything we love. Right. So you'll find out a little bit more about those things. There's a link in the description below for you to find out a little bit more and contact your nearest dealer to get a quote for your car. With that, enjoy the rest of the video. in the Alfa Romeo 155 and we are on its debut shakedown drive <laughs> now the goal is not to get up that fast the goal is to get up there <laughs> This car actually handles very nicely. It's not the fastest car we're gonna think right now. It's 1.8, 8 valve, and you have like what? 110 plus horsepower. It carries quite a lot of weight as well, it's a uh, 1,003 tons. So it's not exactly the most athletic car uh, in terms of power. But when it comes to the actual handling finesse, it actually can take quite a lot of G-Force, surprisingly even for a front-wheel drive car. Yeah. You gotta remember that this platform is also, you know, then became, of course, you know, bigger engine, four-wheel drive and stuff, you know, became a DTM winner. So there is some sort of quality in this chest. The more I drive, the more it feels like the people who designed this car actually enjoy driving. Look at that, like the, the balance, you know, in in now the corner. It's really good. And unlike the E36, you know, which is probably the same time of this era, there's a very nice rhythm to this car. It rolls, but it's not a bad kind of roll, you know. It, there's a rhythm to it and if you catch it it's beautiful look at that that's uh gary and his alpha as well so both having a little dance i guess <laughs> Steers. Wow! I am absolutely impressed by how this car rides. I mean, it's not a sports car, but it has sportiness in the sedan, that's for sure. Now, 
and the thing I like about this car is that its engine is actually kind of characterful. So once you hit 4,000 above, there's a raspy zing to it. And this is the uh, you know, variable valve timing or variable valve injection, whatever you call it, that Alfa Romeo started to put in their passenger cars. And today, the more famous version of it is the Japanese counterparts, what we call VTEC. Look at that, just hear that sing. Yeah, it's a nice sing to it, yeah? I made it! I made it! Good morning everybody, we're at Chinsui Temple and yes, the 155 made it up to the top uh, with quite a little drama actually very pleasant to drive and there you go, this is its new paint job it looks brilliant isn't it? <laughs> all the blacks, all the black plastics has been fixed resprayed, you know, and I, I do love that that dual tone right it makes it a little bit more sportier and of course the new batch just makes the car look so much more nicer yeah i am so happy with the condition look at the rims all right all done by king of rims looking amazing ah uh, this is a speed line rims and we opted to not um skim the rims too much we just did a lot of polish and then we sprayed because you want to retain the the thickness of the metal yeah, so everything's been fixed up. Even this thing, right? Look at the logo. Okay. Uh, this thing has been uh, refitted back. Last time was being held on by a uh, little tape or string. But yeah, looks great, isn't it? Yeah, I'm so happy with what uh, Ake has done. And check this out. Even this thing that was broken, he fixed it. I don't know how he does it. He's a wizard. That is a damn good wizard. So right now, uh, we're going to take this car down to uh, Arok Alfa Romeo Owners Club gathering uh, slash uh, out of speed. I'm not sure where it is, but I'm going to find out and uh, roll in with uh, this very sort of semi-finish 155. All right, let's go. You know, I never thought I'll enjoy this car this much, but I actually am. <laughs> I'm just pushing it through corners. It really handles and grips. It's so intuitive. Supposed to be here today, 
but instead we are prestige car care. <laughs> so uh, the car worked absolutely fine until the alternator started to die. So I could feel the engine starting to burn less efficient, a little bit misfiring. And then eventually the electronics, the lights are looking less and less. You know, it start flickering and stuff. So uh, definitely not a good thing, not a good thing. So uh, we're just going to send the car here and uh, let the limb diagnose. I think it's the alternator. If it is, then it should be a quick fix. But uh, it's a good run. <laughs> it's been a good run. It's a good shakedown run. And this is why we do it. We want to get rid of all the issues that might show up in the car. All right. So till the next episode, uh, <laughs> stay tuned, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Do you think I still made a good choice or a bad choice? <laughs> right? And stay subscribed to uh, more updates on this car, right? See you guys. Ciao.